Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Now, while nothing is certain in boxing and nothing guaranteed, everything changes from one minute to the next. But I think as of right now, we can pretty much safely presume that Dean White versus Tyson Fury is next at the Principality Stadium, the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, Wales, 75,000 people. How do we know this? Well, the extension of the purse bid that was re released yesterday to be the final one for tomorrow, Friday, that will tell you in itself that a deal is close. You don't have to believe anything that I say, but of course I told you guys, uh, what, four or five days ago, that it's pretty much just a timing issue that is pretty much holding it up when they're going to have to fight. Now, Tyson Fury, he took to his social media today saying how he's going to annihilate Dillian White. He's a bum. Hope he trains hard and all that kind of stuff. Tyson Fury-esque, of course. He, seriously, Tyson should be a promoter when he retires. He really should because he's very good at it. Um, also, Eddie Hearn yesterday, he did that interview with DAZN and said that Anthony Joshua was not interested in, his step, in a step aside. Yes, I have seen the clip from Tyson Fury saying how Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua just lost out on $90 million. Why is he dealing in dollars? No, these are Brits. They're just pounds. So where's he getting his $90 million from? But of course, he quickly deleted it. Why did he do that? Because even he knew that his absolute whoppers people ain't going to believe. Even his most hardcore, radical, fanatical fans ain't going to believe that kind of number. 90 million, do yourself a favour. But this fight is going to happen. It's going to happen. As I said, there's no guarantees. What could be happening one minute will totally change the next minute. Great stuff. It will be the biggest fight since Lennox Lewis versus Frank Bruno as far as an all heavyweight British clash. And of course, with the WBC belt being on the line as well. Would you say that this is probably a bigger fight than Lewis Bruno? Some may, some may not. But it's certainly a mega fight, that is for sure. What's the split going to be? Again, I'm, I can only presume here that it's all going to be agreed and Dillian will end up dropping the arbitration case with the WBC. Unless, of course, there's something else going on that he's suing the WBC for. Maybe. But I thought it was pretty obvious. I think a lot of you presumed that it's going to be pretty obvious as well that a deal would get done. While Eddie Hearn would be very confident of winning a purse bid for this one because he would bid very aggressively and no guarantees, does Eddie Hearn want to miss out on this kind of fight? As in sitting on the sidelines? I wouldn't have thought so. But there again, there again, I mean, Dillian why he's not officially contracted to uh, Matchroom and DAZN. So he could go pretty much wherever. He could go over to ESPN. He could go over to BT Sport or Sky Sports if, if that's what it is that Bob Aaron that wanted. He could, but it's always good to have as many people on your corner as possible. Eddie Hearn is, of course, a very good mouthpiece. And, of course, he will help sell this event. Why would you not use him? It'd be madness. But it's going to be interesting. Very interesting. And I hope, I hope, I mean, to go back to what Tyson Fury said, how he's going to annihilate Dillian White. I hope he's got Sugarhead in his corner. I really, really hope that he does. For a couple of reasons. Number one, that would be a Kronk versus Kronk. Will it not? Sugar Hill with Tyson Fury. And of course, you've got Harold the Shadow Knight with Dillian White. For those of you who don't know, Shadow was part of uh, Manny Stewart's uh, Kronk team with Lennox Lewis. Now, there's that one. Also, the style that Tyson Fury's been using lately with uh, Sugar Hill... It's going to make it a very, very dangerous fight for himself when he fights Dillian White. That's the kind of style that Dillian White likes. The Tyson Fury who does the herky-jerky moving around like he did with Vladimir Klitschko, that's going to be more difficult for Dillian White to, to get the win on. It will be. But, I mean, I have already recorded a video. I'll upload it at some point where Tyson Fury, I don't think he can do that anymore. I think he's a fighter in decline, which is why he has adjusted his style. It's a very, very clever thing to do because he's recognised it in himself. But I hope that's what he does. I hope Sugar Hill is in his corner. If we see Peter Fury back in his corner or Ben Davison, okay, looks like he's going to be on his bike in this fight. But anyway, the build-up is going to be very exciting, of course. Neither guys are going to give each other um, an inch. They're both going to go at each other. They're both going to bring up crap that's not even that important, but it's going to create good storylines. So, which is great news for the people like me. And I just want to see this fight. Dillian White will finally get his world 
heavyweight title fight at the WBC, which is what he's been petitioning for for the past few years. So everybody who said Dinny White, he'll never get a world title shot, even up until yesterday, people were saying it. Well, you're going to be eating crow. Sorry about that. Although, why does Tyson Fury keep using these filters whenever he does his uh, little selfie videos? I think he's been hanging around women too long. There again, I mean, some of his uh, fans, not his fans, his radical fans I'm talking about because his fans are quality, but his minority of uh, radical fans, they do tend to uh, do quite similar to themselves on social media. Whenever they try and engage with me over on Twitter and that, they keep sending gifts. Very, very girly thing to do. My wife does that. My sister does that. In fact, most women I know just use gifts. No guy I know uses gifts. Okay? So now, of course, we understand. But... It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. Now, you can say that Tyson Fury is going to have an easy night against Dillian White. You can say it till the cows come home. Fight night. You're going to be nervous. And for all of you who keep saying Dillian White's a bum, easy night's work, Tyson Fury's going to take him to school, beat him up, knock him out. Cool. Put your house on it. Go ahead. Put your house on it. Show me your betting slip over on social media. Show it to me. If you're that confident, of course you weren't that confident it's very easy to say it in the comment section you're going to be nervous you're going to be very nervous even if you do favor Tyson Fury to win you are going to be nervous you are anyway I mean we'll talk about that fight once it is official and I'm expecting it to be official fully announced it could even be today you never know but over the next couple of days for sure but as I said boxing you never know anyway drop your thoughts below click thumbs up and of course subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video.